Hi, this is Sherry Veronica. Do you remember Brent Thomas? He was in Barbados in a hotel room when the Barbados Police Service went into the room, pulled him out of bed, took him to the airport and deported him to Trinidad. You remember that? And he said in his, I guess when he was so astonished and his amazement and his embarrassment and his anger, he said that he was kidnapped. He called it a kidnapping. But now it seems though Barbados has to pay. Barbados has to pay. And they're saying that an amount has not been earned out as yet, but it's going to be substantial. You know, when they say substantial, what that means. And Dale Marshall is never, ever, 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 ever going to tell you how much they are going to pay this guy. Because usually when there are seven months like that, it's usually confidential. The amount would be confidential. But Barbados has to pay Brent Thomas money for what they did to him back in 2022. Now, a lot of people complain about the way the Barbados Police Service moved. A lot of people have issues with the way the Barbados Police Service move. Okay, they, they're, they are ruthless. They can be very ruthless. And they don't investigate. Someone will go and make a statement to the police and they come and get you. They come. There's no investigation to make sure that what the person is saying is true. There's no nothing like that. Based on a statement, they come for you. So I don't know what what was the reason this person was removed from the hotel room, but he called it an unlawful abduction. Okay, from the hotel room in Barbados, unlawful abduction, and there the attorney general Dale Marshall is saying, "Oh, okay, you got us." You got us. Now, I don't know if he's saying, oh, you got us because they really got them or because Dale Marshall and the Attorney General's office don't really prosecute anything. They don't have time for that. They don't have time for that. They are just partying, spending the money that you pay them, taxpayers pay them, you know, just going about, you know, waking up, you know, 11 o'clock in the morning showing up to work if they want, maybe once a month, you know, maybe twice a month, maybe one and a half times a month. They don't have time to be prosecuted in any cases and, and, and trying to, like, come to some sort of investigative decision and result. They don't have time for that. The Attorney General of Barbados and his office, they have no time to really go and, and find out what happened here. Why did you go for him? Why did you unceremoniously take him out of the room the way you did? Why was it in such a, a rush? Why, why did you do it? Why did he feel so he was abducted? Why, what happened really? What really happened? You'll never know. You're never going to know. But suffice to say, he's going to get money. He, Brent, he's going to get money. And they said in this report, it's going to be substantial. Substantial. More money out of the taxpayers' pockets. More money out of your pockets, okay? This is Sherry Veronica.